India, a country of 120 million smokers, 10 million of whom will die each year. The cabinet has given approval today is first a decision to ban e-cigarettes. India has banned the production and import of electronic cigarettes. Advocates such as AVI are fighting the government to reverse the e-cigarette ban and give people the right to choose safer alternatives. Meanwhile, in the Philippines, e-cigarettes are under threat from bans, government crackdowns, and harsh regulations. We do not support their claim of reduced harm. Vaping is also dangerous and I am banning it. And if you're smoking now, you will be arrested. Advocates in the Philippines are risking all trying to fight the government's restrictive policies. Malaysia, home of 250,000 vapors, are also under threat. Advocates like Samsul and the members of MOVE continue to try to convince the government of their right to vape. Down under in Australia, vaping is under threat of a ban and cigarette use is increasing. Uh, but we have uh, some of the strongest laws in the world at present. The advocates continue to fight the battle. In Thailand, smoking is not treated as harshly as vaping. Police raid vape stores, issue fines, deport tourists, and even throw people in jail. Advocates, like those in ECST, are trying to fight to change these laws so people can choose to vape instead of smoking. Next up is Consumer Advocacy 101, a panel discussion with consumer THR advocates from Asia Pacific. After their discussion, they will be available for a live question and answer session for the audience to be able to interact with them and ask any questions they may have. You can find their biographies on the Voices for Vape website.